A massive crowd was busy celebrating Vancouver's hippie roots today, shutting down parts of Kitsilano. Tim Chung was there. It was a time warp of sorts. The music, the fashion, and the freedom, all evoking the hippie culture of the 60s. Today is the 40th anniversary of the legendary Woodstock Music Festival, and although the era of tie-dye and VW buses is long gone, here in Kitsilano at the 5th annual Summer of Love Street Party, over 25,000 people showed up to relive Vancouver's hippie past. It's fun, it's summer, it's Kitsilano, it's all about peace and love and sort of remembering all of those things in that era that we tend to forget. Yeah. Crowds were treated to 28 bands rocking out on four stages and a whole lot of eye candy on wheels. For people like Ray, it's what summer in the city is all about. I love it, uh, having the outdoors, uh, fresh air, along with uh, the reverberation through the streets and off the buildings. The original Woodstock drew crowds of over 450,000 people and featured over 32 acts, including Jimi Hendrix and Bob Dylan. But for many here in Vancouver, it wasn't just the music that moved them. Susan Jacks and her band The Poppy Family were pioneers of the local hippie scene. She says in the 60s, especially in Vancouver, peace and love could be felt all around. They call it the love generation, but it really was. There was, a, there was very little ill will around, you know, it just didn't exist in, in amongst people. It was just so, it was a beautiful time. And here on 4th Avenue, where Flower Power first blossomed 40 years ago, the message and the music is reaching a whole new generation. I want it always to. What does that song mean? Love. Tim Chung, CBC News, Vancouver. Oh, that is sweet. Well, it is.